قد أفلح المؤمنون. Certainly will the believers have succeeded. الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون. They who are during their prayer humbly submissive. At the time of Umar radiallahu anhu, the Muslims' army were fighting some tough battles. One of these battles were around Egypt. The general of the army asked Umar radiallahu anhu to send him more soldiers. He wanted something like 10,000 soldiers or even more. Now Umar radiallahu anhu sent him only 4,000 soldiers. Plus he sent him four. Each thousand was led by a man. Umar radiallahu anhu then wrote in a letter to the general and told him, I have sent you a strength of 12,000 men. How is it 12,000? It's 4,004. Umar radiallahu anhu told the general that these four, each one of them is equal to 2,000. How is one man equal to 2,000? That is the strength of Iman of a Muslim. A Muslim in his or her work should be many times better than the others through the help and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you so much better at your schoolwork? Are you better than like a hundred kids? You can be. You should be. How? You can start by being excellent at your salah. If your salah is excellent, you have the help of Allah all day long with you. You will be more successful and more blessed than you ever imagined. The power of a Muslim comes from standing in salah humbly. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Salah washes away our sin like a bath cleans us. Can you imagine what will happen to a person who doesn't take a bath for a whole year? They will be stinky and diseased, right? Same way, a person who doesn't pray, the sins keep damaging them because they're never getting, they're never getting clean, they're never getting forgiven. So they keep getting stuck to them on all the damaging effects of the sins they keep seeing in their life, in themselves. So they can never be the best they can be. Now tell me, if you're praying five times a day, you are going to have so many blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are going to be like better than hundreds of others. So if you are that successful, aren't you going to help a lot of other people? Yes, of course you would. You would do wonderful things to help the orphans, build masjid, help the hungry, help the ummah. I am sure you would, inshallah. But if you don't pray, you will never be the best you can be. You will never have the success you could have had if you had prayed. Which means you will never be able to help all those people you could have helped. So all those people will now miss out on all the great things you could have done to help them. And that is injustice to them. This is a crime we do against themselves. When we don't pray, we don't just damage ourselves because of the sins that never get forgiven, because the blessings we miss out on. We do injustice. We damage the entire Muslim Umrah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you so you can help them. He has set, He has even set this meeting with you five times a day so you can come and ask for help. And if you don't use it, you will never be the best you can be. You will never help all those who were meant to receive help from you. Maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made you so you can help them. He had given you these blessings so you can help them. But you never prayed, so you were never the best you can be. You missed out on all that success. You missed out on all these blessings, so you can never help them the way you could. This is one of the reasons our Ummah is suffering so much today. Because millions of Muslims have abandoned their sins. They either don't pray, or they do it lazily, without any humility. You know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us, he said he has created us to be a Khalifa on the earth. Can you imagine how many creations, how many people, how many plants, environment, how much can the Khalifa do for this world? That is your potential. But of course not everyone will reach it. And clearly those people who don't pray will never reach that potential. 
However good a person is, they can be a thousand times better if they were praying with humility five times a day. Inshallah, I hope from today you start praying five times a day and with humility. Rush to your salah, do not delay it, and pray with humility towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And use this power of salah to be hundred times better than all those around you. And help, inshallah, I hope you get to help millions of people from the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be showering on you day and night. Inshallah. See you soon for the salah and for if we beat the drums of hope and faith, we will all fall into rhythm. I have faith in you and I. If we beat the drums of hope and faith, then we will feel the rhythm from our footsteps and our striving, marching to the garden as we try.